video was good as your boy Randy back with another video and today I am doing a barber video like I said I would be doing and today we are doing a skin fit on my boy and to start off pretty much I start out by doing the bald line and for the video purposes only I only did half of the head and then I did the other half like on my own but I didn't show it so you're only gonna be seeing his left side you're not gonna be seeing the whole head so it's like a quicker video because if I did the whole thing and I just sped it up you wouldn't be able to see what I'm doing and on top of that it would just take too long so here you see me just skinning it out you see me just going through the line first but I flick up I don't make a line going downward because I feel like making the line going downward if your blade is too close you are gonna make a hard line and you make it difficult for yourself to take that out so what I do is I flick out and make a line and then under there I take out like all the hair that's under that and then once that's all gone as you can see I'm at the shavers now I usually go like right below the line I shave and make it bald and then the hair that's under it I do the same thing and I ball that out completely because I feel like that takes less time than it is to like shave everything down and then to get to the line and then you want to be more precise I feel like that takes longer so I think it's better to just go around the line first and then do the rest that's under it and yeah I know the video gets a little blurry this video like the quality is not that good and I do apologize unfortunately I wish it could have been better but I put the camera on the left side not the right side which is my high net I cut with and that's why the video is so crappy. I tried my best to edit it so that I can speak of it as best as possible. And yes, there's gonna be those blackout parts and that's because of the song. Now there is times that I stand in front of the camera because I am right-handed and it blocks the view, but I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. Next video will be way better. I kind of got it already planned out. I was gonna make another video, but unfortunately, the camera had died on me and I didn't have my extra battery, so I screwed up there. Anyways, here I had the two guard on and what I was doing, I was just going straight up and down. I was clearing out the bulk and then after that i went straight to my andes not my andes i'm sorry to my officer fast feeds which is what i'm using the whole video it's really pretty much all i use i put it open and then i i don't go halfway i just kind of like go like an inch up and then I flick out. I don't like to make a line there. I kind of just like a flick out. And then like always, I always like to have a fade going. I never like to make hard lines. I know it looks like I made a hard line with a ball line, but that's always gonna happen. Like it's almost inevitable to just flick out with a ball line or with your, whatever you're balding with and then like fade it out. Cause that's nearly impossible. I mean, if you could fade with just your ball, that's crazy, but I know I can't. And then here I have the zero halfway open. I don't go closed or open with the zero in this process because I feel like if you're always flicking out, I feel like you're always gonna have hair sticking out enough. Like let's say you flick out and you cut this. Like if you flick out this way, you're gonna like basically cut, be cutting the hairs like this. So you're always gonna have hair sticking out more. But if you just flick up, like if you cut upward, you're gonna cut the hairs flat and then it's gonna be harder. You're gonna have like that line right here. Let's say if you were to cut up to here and this is like a hair, this hair is what makes that line show. It's kind of hard to understand. Kind of hard to show you guys my fingers, but if you guys understand, like my hairs are pretty much like individual hairs. But anyways, going back to the video. I did go from the zero halfway open to the one close and then I went to the one open as you guys can see and then I kind of when I go to the one like I said I'm always flicking out I'm always like going like this it looks like I'm just like making a circle it's like, it's like a small circle pretty much I'm going like up like this pretty much like my motion and it looks really weird on camera but kind of just showing you guys what I do and it's always flicking out so you don't make a hard line And then here I got the one closed and I just like went down with the grain. So it kind of like helps the hairs lay together. Like it helps them lay down. When you have hair like this, you kind of have to do that because it brushes the hairs down and then it also blends them in. So it helps a lot. And now I go with the ostrich closed and I'm kind of just flicking out the bald line. And the thing with my clippers is like, they're very, very, very zero gap. Like there's no space between the top blade and the bottom blade. So I'm really careful. And that's why you see me going really slow right here. But later on, you're gonna see me going a little faster and flicking faster. But as you guys can see, 
I'm going really slow and I'm just touching him with the top blade. If I touch him with that bottom blade, he's gonna get cut. And I don't recommend everybody have the clipper like this, only if you're experienced. I feel like I'm experienced enough to have the clippers like this. I'm not saying I'm like great, but I'm just saying like I'm experienced enough to have them and know that I'm not gonna cut them. Like you have to understand the clippers and how they tend to cut people when you're not careful. Here I flicked it on a little more so it's not completely zero gaff and now I'm kind of just flicking out around the line and that helps me like flick out more and not be so like careful with it and you're oh, actually right here is where I do it. I open it just a little bit so it's not so close and I don't have to be so careful but I still have to like not go too high with it obviously because then it's going to ball out so much and I keep going with the same process. I go all the way around. Pretty much I always do the whole head all together. I don't ever like do half and half. I did it one time when I was showing somebody how to cut but Usually when I do it like this, when I do a regular haircut, it just helps me go all the way around because pretty much what I do, I'm pretty quick when I do haircuts. I can finish the skin fit in like 30 minutes. I kind of just flick out always and I like spin the chair. And as you guys see right here, I'm now opening the clipper to halfway open and then I'm still doing the same flicking motion. And as far as this part of the cut goes, I only take those little steps. I don't like to go too high because if you go too high, obviously you're gonna get the high skin fade and that's not what my boy asked for. He asked for a mid skin fade and that's exactly what I'm giving him. That's why I started the bald line where I did. A low skin fade, I would've started way lower, like pretty much right around the ear, like literally right around here, which I will do another video on, but this is a mid skin fade. And here you guys can see me opening up the clipper and I flick out a lot more. I flick up and out a lot because what I do is like I tilt the clipper at an angle. So it's not like I'm cutting with the flat part of the blade. I'm kind of cutting with like, this is like say it's a flat blade. I'm, I kind of angle it and I flick out. So it lets not like, it lets, it lets me cut like the longer hairs but not the shorter hairs. And it doesn't take out the line which is what you'll see me do in a little bit. You're gonna see me angle the blade flat on the head and then that's, gonna, that's what's gonna take out the line. This is what I'm doing right here actually. You can see me like doing this motion because I'm gotta be more careful with it. And like, I kind of just have the feel of knowing when I hit that line. Like you gotta know where the blade is when you have it open or wherever it is, like right now it's open. And now I went to the zero guard. I went to midway open again to try to blend in that no guard open to the zero halfway open. And that's why you see me flicking out. And it's halfway open because like I said, I barely ever use the close or open. That's where it's halfway open and I kind of just flick out. But I noticed that I'm not cutting enough. Like it's not really taking out that bulk. As you guys can see, there's some bulk in the middle between where the no guard open and the zero halfway open is. And off camera, I didn't really show it because I was in the way and you couldn't really see it. I did go close a little bit and I flicked out and then I went open and I blended it. And you'll see it in a bit how it looks after that. Right now I'm just doing this lineup. And the way I do lineups is I kind of just go from the middle to the part that's receding. I learned this from E. Jones. He did like talk about this a lot. I always go from the middle and go to the side that's receding first and then you go to the other side. However, my boy does not have receding hairline so it was really easy to do his hairline. As you guys can see, I did take my time usually on that corner because that corner is what makes that haircut pop. And you guys can see like the haircut's blended more now, by the way. Here you guys can see me doing the razor. I really didn't tell you guys this video was really bad and I apologize. Like the next one will be way better. And usually when I use the razor, I always stretch the skin because if you don't stretch the skin, you're gonna have a big risk of cutting the skin. And here I do it again on the side. As you see my thumb is always pulling on that skin and then I'm always cutting and shaving. I learned that from Vic the Barber and if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't have known that. And this is pretty much the final cut. I know I, I didn't even spin the chair correctly. That's how bad this video was. But if you guys saw that other half, it is pretty much what the fade looked like all around.